गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ अरुण कोई दस एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ स्पंदन कॉलेज ऑफ एजुकेशन यू आर वेलकम टू आवर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टुडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग द बी एड क्लास In the B.Ed class, semester one, course five, understanding discipline and subject, uh, unit two, which contains <coughs> science as a subject and discipline. <coughs> I have discussed. last class in the last class what is discipline what are the significance of discipline uh, the field of discipline and the various <coughs> kinds of discipline interdiscipline multidiscipline and more other kinds were there now in second unit science as a subject of discipline so at first we have to understand what is science according to physicist campbell science is <coughs> the study of method uh, judgments concerning which universal agreement and the attempts of make uh chaotic diversity of experience correspond to the logical uniform system of thought these are the brief concept of science and we can we can tell the science is a body of knowledge a method of inquiry a way of investigation and an attitude towards life a way of thinking so now we will understand the what are the nature of science the contents contents are objectives meaning and nature of science meaning of science uh, nature the history of science which are science of primitive age <coughs> science in uh, ancient period science in uh, mod uh, medieval of period and science in modern period so what are the so what are the objectives of science the objectives are we can understand the significant of science we able to understand we are able to understand the nature of science and <clears throat> understand the study of science and definition of method of science and the curriculum curriculum syllabus and textbook relates to related to science and able to understand the scientific curriculum at more other these are the objectives meaning and <coughs> science 
साइंस इज ए क्यूमुलेटिव एंड एंडलेस स्टार्टिंग of empirical observation which result in a formation of concept <coughs> and theories with both concept and theories being uh, subject to modification in the light of further empirical observation science is both knowledge and the process of inquiry and acquiring it so now nature of science science is a body of knowledge so it contains the various field of study uh, which are phys phys physical science chemical science mathematics biological science philosophy and in physical science there are more branches and chemical science there were there are also more branches and biological science also <coughs> these are the nature so, geography is also a science mother of science is called geography these are the uh subject of which there are lists of science let's know what is the nature of science first science is a body of knowledge second is science is fact third is science is concept and four generalization and five is laws or theories of science there are three laws which are <coughs> axiom primary or ultimate laws and secondary laws uh what is theory according to mathson a theory specifies the relationship between events for the purpose of explaining the occurrence of the event and predicting future events according to groot when a scientist endeavors to fit the available broad interrelation and general principle into orderly logically constructed system such a system is called a theory <coughs> now we will understand the history of science there are four steps first primitive age of science second ancient age of science third medieval age of science and last modern age of science uh whatever now i am uh, discussing the method of science or definition of scientific method what is scientific method scientific method consists of systematic observation classification and interpretation of data steps of scientific method 
first is uh, sensing the problem defining the problem analysis the problem <coughs> and collecting the data inter interpreting uh, the data and formulation to a uh, formulation of tentative solution or hypothesis uh, selecting and testing the most likely hypothesis and driving conclusion and making generalization application of generalization to nick to new situation